Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss about regulation of thyroid hormone secretion. The learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe how thyroid hormone is regulated and identify the factors that stimulate thyroid hormone secretion. Before we start discussing about regulation of thyroid hormones, we need first to understand the relationship between the hypothalamus and the anterior pituitary gland. The hypothalamus is connected to the anterior pituitary gland by the portal blood system, whereby the hormones secreted from the hypothalamus are transported through the portal system to the anterior pituitary gland. The anterior pituitary gland then secretes hormones that regulate multiple endocrine glands such as adrenal gland, thyroid gland, and the gonads, that is the testis and the ovary. Therefore, the hypothalamus and the anterior pituitary gland are considered to be the master's controllers of a number of endocrine glands, and thus these are termed accordingly hypothalamic pituitary axis. For example, the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, the hypothalamic pituitary thyroid axis, and the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis. So for our discussion on the regulation of the thyroid hormones, we have to refer to the hormones secreted by the hypothalamus as well as the anterior pituitary gland. The thyroid hormone regulation starts from a peptide hormone secreted from the hypothalamus that is called thyrotropin releasing hormone or TRH. TRH then travels through the portal system, as we have just mentioned, to the anterior pituitary gland, and this will stimulate the anterior pituitary gland to release another hormone that is called thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH. TSH receptors are located within the thyroid gland and it will stimulate the release of thyroid hormones that is T3, also called triiodothyronine, and T4 or thyroxine. TSH is involved in all aspects of the thyroid hormone formation. For example, TSH increases the uptake of iodide within the thyroid gland, which is essential in the formation of thyroid hormones. TSH also plays a role in the synthesis of thyroglobulin and increases cellular process within the colloid. We will be discussing the synthesis of thyroid hormones in the next class. T3 and T4 then will exert a negative feedback control of the axis and maintains the levels of TRH and TSH back towards normal. As indicated, there are some examples of stimuli that increases the activity of the system such as exposure to cold, exercise, and pregnancy. Thank you, and I hope you found this information useful. In the next class, we will be highlighting the synthesis of thyroid hormones. Thank you.